Hi, this is Richard, product manager for the BME 688. Uh, this is the development kit where you actually see eight BME 688. What you can see here is, a, is, is just one simple demo actually. Um, on, the, on the big screen we mirror the phone. The phone is connected via Bluetooth with the sensors and you see the sensor raw data here and that's the most important thing. You see the current uh, the current gas which is classified. So we are here in ambient air and this is classified by the sensor. Um, now we have different liquids here um, on the table and the sensor can classify which of those is, is containing alcohol and which of them is an alcoholic free drink actually. On the left side we have beer, on the right side we have apple juice with or without vodka and I'm just starting here with one liquid and I mean you can see with your eyes it's basically impossible to distinguish. Now I put the sensor in, in the bottle and then you can see on the screen that the different sensitivity points are going to change one after the other because it's a gas scan which takes 11 seconds and different sensitivity points are measured one after the other and as soon as one complete scan is finished you see the classification result. Um, here it now changed to an alcoholic drink um, so this means this is the bottle which also contains alcohol so this is the beer with alcohol inside. Um, so you see it's, it's detected basically pretty quickly. Now I remove the sensor again and I close the bottle and then we can do the cross check with the other one. Um, and you can also see now I removed it from the bottle and after a complete scan has been running it's back to normal air, right? So let's just go to the other bottle, integrate the sensor um, and wait for the next scan result. You can also follow here the raw data lines and you see that they are changing again and you see the classification result on top. So this is obviously the beer with, with which is not containing alcohol. And the same uh, would work here so we can just go to the next bottles. Um, so basically it works for every food and the cool thing is the sensor is also distinguishing between normal air and the smell of food, right? So this is why it shows normal air and why it shows that you are close to, um, to, to a drink which contains alcohol or not. So now I use the next bottle and with that we will also figure out which of those is containing alcohol and which doesn't contain alcohol. Let's again wait a few more seconds and then you will see the classification result here and as you can see that's the one which contains vodka. So if you like alcohol take that one, if not then this is your drink.